Hey guys, if you can't tell from the corner, I have another fairy loot unboxing and I have one other video that I need to record, which I might do that tomorrow. So anyway, if you're new here, this is what the box looks like, you know. And then this is usually what you see when you open it. I have an extra thing in here because of it was for last month, I think, somewhere in there. But yeah, so this month it's Regency and Scandal. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing that's in here is this um, is this it? Uh, a ceramic oh, what, pop? what? No, wait, wait. What is this? Oh, it's a lunch bag. Okay, so this is a uh, uh, pr very pretty. I'll probably I'm not gonna be using it for a lunch bag. I might use it for like my colored pencils because I have like a bunch of them. I'm not sure. I might keep it the way they are. But this is inspired by the Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels by India Holton. Very pretty. Got some flowers, some daggers, tea, and spoons and stuff. Very, very cute. I don't know how I'm going to everything up here. I'm going to have to move some stuff just to, you know, get everything there. Okay. Uh, and that was designed by Bluely Boo. All right. And then also I need to get these little, these little things out. Okay. So let's see here. Ooh. Some ceramic flower pots. Oh, or pot. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. The other lands. It's so pretty. This is inspired by Emily Wilde's uh, Encyclopedia of Fairies by uh, Heather Fawcett. I'm in love with this. Yeah, it's going to be so gorgeous. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to use it as a flower pot. I don't know yet. I will have to see be, just because it's too gorgeous to let it get messed up. And also it's a little small for, um, you know, it would have to be something that like stays tiny. Um, but yeah, uh, these all these crocheted things my mother-in-law made. You're wondering. But anyway, that is designed by Anne Guyen Art. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I'm saying it right. What is this? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. And it's so soft. And then the pockets. Yes. Will I use this? I don't know because I'd be too afraid to get it messed up. But then I'm like, come on. <gasps> so pretty. All right. Let's see here. Uh, so it, it is an apron. And the designer is Forensics and Flowers. And this is inspired by Half a Soul by Olivia at Water. Very pretty. I haven't read that, but it's on my TBR. I do want to read it eventually once I can get my hands on it. All right. What is this? Ooh, a fragile enchantment rope. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, you know it's going up here. And, and then I also have one of my necklaces that I got through Fairy Loot up there. It's so exciting. Okay, so this... Okay, so the frame design was by Jez Hawk, and the portrait is by Nehru Dot Sky. Hmm, it's so pretty, so pretty. It's gonna go back in here, and then once you know, I'm done with this video, and then all my future videos, you'll be able to see it right there. All right, let's see 
here. Okay, so this was my item that I was missing last month. And it is a uh, Ember in the Ash travel case. Basically, I've seen people like Black Cliff. <laughs> um, I haven't read that, but I do want it. And I want to read it. It People put their stuff in it. And then they, you know, like clothes and whatever. And so, I'm so excited about this. And I don't think I've ever, like, seen something like this in... Um, I'm not going to be able to fit it up there. So, it's going to go over here. Um, and then, please don't ask me who designed it. Because it was for last month. And the card is down below. And so... All right. These are characters for apparently this month's box, right? Book. Okay, so we have Mia. I don't know how you say her name. Wait. Yeah, uh, the Nine of Moons and Kit as the Ten of Moons. Yes. I love the art. I'm very excited about this. I could put this up here, and then I could put those up there. Okay. Let me... Uh -huh. Okay, so... Very gorgeous. Um, let me... Excuse me, Dubby. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's pretty. The character art. And then the letter from the author um this you know talking about the fairy scoop and stuff they, they ask the author a little you know a couple questions or whatever and then it will get to this last like I always do so I'm very excited okay I have a inkling on what this is gonna be but you know, okay, again, I'm not a fan of like, you know, but I like that it, like they're drawn on, you know, like you can tell. And those are roses. Forbidden desire woven through every stitch. We are gonna, oh, okay, so this is by far the most prettiest book I own, like gorgeous. And then let's see, ooh, but I don't know, I kind of like the other one, yeah, so I don't like that one I like this one because like I said it looks like they're drawn on there so I am very happy with this and this was on my um anticipated list which I didn't record <laughs> last year um so I need to make a note of that and Record for 2025's anticipated releases. But, okay, we're going to move in. Put that there. All right. Okay, so next month's theme is a moth to the flame. Ooh. And it says, it, uh, in this box, you will find items inspired by the Just Sad Air fourth wing and our featured book of the month we're excited to reveal that this box will also include a beloved fandom neutral item our next a wearable item we have never done before and an item you can share with your book bestie did you hear that stephanie something i can we can share together I'm so excited. 
Ooh, and I love the... I, I need to start also reading these quote things at the end down here. Anyway, uh, remember that you are a wolf and you cannot be caged. Sarah J. Mass, A Chord of Wings and Ruin. Again, if you don't follow me and also... My husband got these. They came in late. I have a whole Sarah J. Moss shelf. And I plan after I drop my son off at school. I'm heading to uh, <clears throat> ooh, Target. And i going to get my hands on the book number three for Crescent City. I'm excited. Um, I am reading Assassin's Blade right now. You're, I would show you it, but you're kind of propped up on it. <laughs> but yeah. And then that's, that's the picture for the thing. And yes, if you're wondering, I got hit in the eye, but it's okay. Uh, it didn't hurt. But. Okay, so she was asked to describe a fragile, fragile enchantment in five words. Whimsical, hopeful, summery, romantic, weary, uh... Or Prince Learns Non-Hostile Emotional Emotions Exist. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So, but yeah. I'm so excited. So very, very, very excited. <coughs> if you made it this far, and also, again, if you're new here, I usually, for the end of my fairy room unboxings I always do the same emoji a fairy emoji um so leave a fairy emoji down below let me know what is one book you're anticipating on being released you know beginning of like 2024 I have a bunch of them and one of them one my next one is coming out at the beginning of well actually there's two of them uh, an education of malice by S.T. Gibson and Truly, sorry, Truthfully Yours by Caden Armstrong. Right now, it's only being released as a Kindle ebook. I did pre order it, but I need to get my hands on a physical copy when they become available. But yeah, that is all. I hope you guys, you know, are enjoying the weather where you're at. Because remember, summer is eventually going to get here. We're going to regret wishing it was summer. And we're going to be wishing it was winter. So enjoy it. Also, I keep forgetting, but my merch for uh, Allison Page came in. And I am just, I've been, I wear this all the time. And I also have a shirt. Um, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.